Welcome on to a channel. Today I got a little treat for you, a little Christmas special, and that is going to be Roy McElroy PGA Tour. I have the actual disc copy, so I wanted to uh, play this game and see how it holds up. This game came out in 2015, so a little over seven years. Well, it came out, I think it came out in July. Uh, we are just about four months away from EA dropping their PGA Tour game since this game came out. And uh, there's some things about this game that I actually think is super useful for, and some things that I think 2K definitely should have copied. But um, I just want to see how it compares, simply because you guys know I have no partnership with anyone. I give you guys the honest feedback, and that's one of the things that I think attracts some people to my channel, is I just give you... Uh, give you the real deal so uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and when ea comes out and drops their game as well i'll be doing content for um the ea game and anyone who wants to play that because i know there have been a lot of changes over um or a lot of expectations i would say for this pga tour game that came out for 2k and uh some of it has lived up to the expectations a lot of it has not lived up to the expectations but at the same time, um, we're, there, this game is supposed to drop. It was supposed to drop Masters Week of last year. But it did not drop because they had a COVID delay or what whatever they had. So uh, they pro postponed it for a full year. So it's supposed to drop Masters Week this April. We still have not heard too much details outside of um, them having the Masters course. Also, uh, them having a, a, pretty much a whole bunch of FedEx Cup courses. And um, yeah, so just really, it's very been hush-hush. So I'm assuming in the next couple months, if they really are going to drop it as expected this April, then uh, they'll really be ramping up the content that they're going to be pushing out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to play this. We'll, I'll talk a little bit about it. Some things that I think uh, 2K definitely should have copied. Um, also, like how it compares seven years later. And um, yeah. So you can, uh, they obviously shut the servers down in 2017, I believe. 2017, 2018. So I can really only do a play now. And I can do a... Uh, and then I can do the prologue, which I'll do the complete prologue as well, because I think that's super interesting. And it's something like you signed Tiger Woods this past year, like you should have been able to do Tiger moments that you can play. But even like the cutscenes here are pretty, pretty great. Like the graphics, the cutscenes, like this game came out in 2015. And I feel like I don't know. Just playing behind this, I just feel like it has a little bit more of a real feel, and this could just be my opinion, but uh, with the sun and just the course and how everything lays out, even like when you see uh, when you see me swing here with Rory, like his swing looks more realistic to, I'm sure that they put him on one of those bodysuits, it looks more realistic than the actual, um, you just gotta, the buttons are different, so um, it's going to probably take me a, a couple minutes to uh, figure it out. And this was back when, like, if you wanted to draw or fade it, you actually had to move it. You see in the bottom left corner, you had to swing along that line, which makes it extremely difficult to do. So it's it's pretty interesting stuff. Put this back to up here. Try to get it back to zero. There we go. And the, the three-click um, kind of copied similar to what the, the little ball has here. And there's obviously not too much. There's no sound. So um, there is sound for the prologue, but there isn't sound for in-game play anymore. So, you know, I'll put on a little bit of music. Just something quiet in the background. Uh, the one... Issue that I you, you're not gonna be able to see like a, a zoom in camera here as well simply because um, You got the whole map and that's all you had when you played on these harder difficulties And that's pretty much where my settings are. I can't really change the settings simply because that's how I had my profile set up um, So I can't really zoom in on the actual areas of the greens But we'll figure it all out Let's hit a uh, little little nine iron here Meters are pretty straight. 
Ooh. Nine iron was way too much club. But I, I like that back in the uh, before when you can't zoom in to see the actual. I think that's something that uh, TGC, if they really wanted to make it harder, make people use the yardage books. The one thing I will say about uh, this game is like everything has spin. Like even your four irons spin back. It's it's pretty pretty crazy stuff. But this is something that I think 2K really could have copied. Look at this. I got caddy play. 2015, I had caddy play holding the flag, tending the pin. Like we have caddies in the game this year, but you don't really see them outside of a couple cutscenes. Ooh. Just on the edge there. But I think that's such a cool feature to have. Anything on these long putts, even, even even on these short putts, you can still see the caddy. He's still a part of the game, which is something that, you know, is so important. And obviously, I'm not worrying too much about score here. But this is more about just, like, playing this game and seeing, like, the little things. And, like, I, I feel like these, like, the graphics, like, I mean, Rory looks pretty good. And, and personally... This is 2015. It's still quite impressive, and it's not just because like I'm trying to. Uh, I'm not even biased in any sort of way. It's just. I mean, Chambers Bay. The course looks pretty good. Graphics are are a little bit, you know, interesting when it comes to like the rough. You can see it's like kind of glistening, glitching a little bit. So obviously, but I mean, this game wasn't built for this system. So. All right, we got an 80% rough. We want to hit it 90 yards. I'm going to play nine holes here, and then I'll do the full prologue. Ooh, we're going big. It's going to take me a second to get used to this. Completely different. all right but like even look you got people walking in the backgrounds in the in the crowd people moving it's like the little things that make the game feel like you're actually playing a realistic course those are like the little minor details that i think are lacking a lot with the current 2k model and i don't know if it's just the game size, the money size. This game, when you play it on the hardest difficulties, it, it could be quite difficult. Got a little wind helping, a little downwind. So let's let's try not to shoot the flag over this time. Pretty good meters though. Oh, I think I shot it over anyways. We're going deep. I keep over swinging. See if we can, uh... and uh, this was different because if you wanted to spin it, you actually have to move it to the top of the ball rather than the bottom part of the ball, which I thought is interesting because um, PGA 2K is, is different. Hey, that's good up and down from that bunker. Pretty good up and down from that bunker. So I'll play I'll play we'll play nine holes. Just because I want to play that prologue, just to show you like they could have done a tiger moments and I think would have been really cool. And I'm sure EA will I wonder if EA might get Rory to come out and back in their game. That'd be pretty cool. They haven't announced anything like that, but I think it'd be pretty cool if they can get Rory out in, in their game. The old Nike Vapor drivers are up 38. All right, we're not going to go long here. At least I'm trying not to go long. Look at this safe play out to the center of the green. 
and it just stops immediately. So much spin on all these clubs. I do like that there's um, in 2K, they have like the different colors. Um, I think this makes it a lot more difficult. Um, but at the same time, you can still, but like, look at the crowd up on the left. Just constantly walking around. Like, that's just such a minor thing, but such a big factor. Also, I have to swing with the left stick here instead of the right stick. I they just take they took away all the settings. Um, I think that's just something. Oh. oh no, that's not what I want to do. Oh, we can spin it. Yeah, let's spin it. Show a little spin action here. Too much spin. <laughs> You forget how good this, uh, how difficult this was for certain parts, though. And it's pretty, it's unfortunate that they took out, like, the commentary just to see what that was like. But, still, piece through it. Alright, a couple more holes here. Then we're going to get into the fun stuff, which is uh, the prologue. Rory also hits massive bombs in this game. I forgot how, how long of a driver you could hit with him. 123. Oh, that's not bad. Look at that spin out of the out of the fairway fairway bunker. See if we can make a putt here. Nope. All right, we got a little movement to the left, not much. There we, there we go. Come on now. Let's see what kind of animations we get. Anything? Nothing. It's a pretty epic view of Chambers Bay. Let's see how far we drive it here. 320. I also like that. Carry and total. Pretty sure 2K only gives you the end result. But that that's just a little little thing. I can't see my lie either, so. A lot of this is just piecing it together. Ooh. Uh, let's try to hit a little fringy action here. Ooh! I love the little club twirl. It's just something about staring my caddy right there that that just I I really like that that part of this game. Even the crowd looks better, to be honest. I'll be interested to see what 2K comes... Obviously, their game's not going to come out for another two years. So, or a year and a half now. Or year and eight months or so. But... It's, uh... It'll be interesting to see what they come out with if they up their, their graphics. Because this year... In all honesty, like I've told you guys, I'll tell you the honest truth. I mean, it just really felt like they just reskinned the game that they had last year. We'll go play the prologue after this one. After this hole. Everything you see that was out of the rough and that thing just stopped on a dime, so. I'm interested. I'd be if EA comes out with a fitting process as well, that'd be um I wonder if they're going to do more of an arcade version or if they're going to come out with the fitting process as well. Kind of customize your bag. And I put out that video the other day. I like the fittings of that they that they did. 
But the problem with the fittings is it costs way too much. You don't make enough VC. And um, you can't like – somebody came – so there are some good ideas on the video that I put out. Um, play shot lessons, swing lessons. I don't need to learn about the three. I can switch the different mechanics. But – Let's uh, do Rory's US Open. I'm gonna let it play. We're gonna play the whole thing here. For sure, I agree, the train looks way better. But th this is something that I, I played and I was like, holy, I totally forgot about this. And I don't understand, like you signed Tiger so Woods and you didn't do something like this. Before our eyes in major championships and today two of the top players in the world are set to tee off. Rory McIlroy holding a one-shot lead over Martin Keimer. It's the final round of the U.S. Open Championship at Chambers Bay. You're going into, you know, the final round of any golf tournament with a chance to win, especially a major championship, it's a huge buzz. You know, that's the only way I can describe it. It's the best feeling a golfer can have. Because like, come you're on, right? And you, you're in with a chance to win Get Tiger in an interview in to do it's something like this? Feeling. It's something that... Um, this is 2015. Get to it's 2022. Life, so, you know, that, that atmosphere you want to Why do I feel like this is a slight time, upgrade really right now? Rory McElroy coming off a strong performance yesterday, now making his way to that first tee box. Like NBA 2K has Jordan moments. Championship trophy to his already growing collection. And Rich, there's no doubt both golfers will be nervous until they get that very first tee shot under their belt. The first tee shot is is probably the most difficult because you've been thinking about that shot since the night before. Once you get that first shot out of the way, you calm down, you're a little more settled, you're not quite as anxious or nervous, and you sort of get into the rhythm of the round. You want to get off to the best start possible. And, and obviously that's they did a really good job with this. First tee shot. And then you can you can learn how to swing while you play. Three thirty carry, three fifty eight, bomb right there. Not a bad meter, pretty good. And I, I'm gonna let the whole thing play through because this it just keeps going. Look at that, and checking the wind animation. It's little things like that. Look at the spin we get on that bad boy. But outside of like yeah, the little glimmers from the rough, I do I do agree with you. I do think that the terrain looks better. People walking in the backgrounds. You mentioned the sand, uh, the rake marks in the sand. Like the the quality aspect of it is pretty good. And you just you can like especially for someone who's like a, obviously. Someone who's a beginner, like you can easily learn how to play this game, learn the buttons, and also just feel. I think making putts early in a round is very important. It it sets the tone for the day and it gives you some positive momentum early. You see the ball go into the hole and it gives you confidence. You face a downhill putt at a US Open with greens that are as tricky as that. It just makes it even more difficult. I feel like you always face important putts no matter when it is, but Obviously, they're that much more important when, you know, it's the final run of a major. The number one player in the world. Two-shot lead, Martin Keimer. Ricky Fowler, I forgot he was he was up there on the leaderboard. Don't get these animations too much. First couple of holes is all just like the cinema process and then it lets you take over from there. Ch 
Chambers Bay. I forgot what engine this was built on. I don't know if this was on the Frostbite engine. Went a little deep here. Spin on down that hill. Oh yeah. Ooh, with the little club twirl. Ooh, we're on our own here. Can't move it. Okay. Oh. Short and fast. I like that. I like that feedback that that gives you. Short and fast rather than perfect in percentages. Oh, three putt. All right, let's uh, make sure I don't four putt here. I don't want to cost Rory the championship. There's some sometimes times when there might, might be a wit on a tee box, box or you've, you've played, played your shot, shot and you're waiting on your playing, playing partners to hit their shots and and, and, and you just look around and, and you know you, you realize, realize you know where you are, are you know because you, you don't, don't really you know you don't appreciate it that much, much whenever you're unreal you're views playing up there and, you know that's not what you're thinking about you're thinking about trying to win a golf tournament and not really you know taking in the beauty of your surroundings Ooh, down one stroke on the eighth hole. They want me to hit a seven iron? Short swing, fast, one percent. Looks pretty good, though. Ooh, looks really good. Can we make the putt, though? Can we make the putt for Rory? Doesn't look like it's moving at all. Hey! That's a good shot. Minus five through 14, down one stroke. It's a big shot here. Let's see what we got coming down the stroke, or coming down the strip. Increase shot height. Got it. They want me to hit a flop shot. Move it further. A little flopper. Some instant spin. Nice up and down here. It's like this is like fun moments for people too, you know? Like not everything has to be a competition. Some stuff you can just relive. And I'm sure some of the settings were a little bit different where uh, you can... You can Final few holes to play, especially of a major, major championship, championship like, like the US Open. Open. Um, you know, it's you know, what, what you've worked so hard for. for. It's what, you know, you've, you've put, put all those hours, hours of practice, practice in for. for and, and, you know, this is your moment. This is your moment to see what you've got against the best players in the world and test yourself at the ultimate level. Um, there's obviously a lot of pressure. Uh, you know, you don't want to let an opportunity like this pass you by. You don't want to let it slip. So to stay really focused, really concentrated, try to take one shot at a time, try and put the result out of your mind, control what you can control. Um, but saying that it is difficult with so many things going on around you, whether it be the crowds, or it could be the person that you're going up against. You know, there's so many things that you can't control, but you know, the things that you can control, that's what you have to concentrate on, and that's what you have to try and you know, do to the best of your ability. And if you can do that, that's what gives you the best chance to, to try and win a, a huge tournament like the US Open. Amen, Rory, amen. 
how we got what 17 18 all tied up it's all up to us to win let's uh, go down one flags 230 down four with a helping wind is it good oh no it's too deep too, too deep settle short and fast a little deep damn all right, we gotta get up and down here. I don't know what happens if you uh, if you don't. Uh, uh, go in. Ooh. We gotta win it for Rory here. Here we go. Final hole. Let's win it on 18. In epic fashion. A little cross breeze. Big drive. Look at that follow through. The swing's like... Oh, no. It's in the bunker. Is it? No. Um, the swing's, like I said, just look. So clean. It's a crisp game, especially for it coming out in 2015. It was, it was before its time. Well, all we got to do is get up and down here and for the win, I believe. It does. It does actually look like a swing. It's nice. So what I was when I was when I heard that they were getting all the the 2K people, I was kind of disappointed when I found out that, that none of their swings were going to be in the game. I feel like that's a serious uh, missed opportunity. Reading the putt, ooh, oh wow, it's not breaking as much as expected, huh? We'll use a little putt read here. Uh oh. What happens if we uh, don't make this? No need to worry, Rory. We got you. It's just like you could do this with so many different. Um, so many different Tiger moments. Like, Tiger's your guy, the main guy on the cover. You could have had so many different moments. It created an entire different game mode. And uh, really had a, a special side action. Rather it's than an incredible, incredible feeling, feeling to know, to know when, when that final puck goes in on the 18th, 18th green that, that, you know, you've won, won, you know, a major, major championship, championship at U.S. US Open. Open. Uh, you, you know, know to, to put your, your name, name alongside... alongside the names on that trophy, that's something that's going to stay there forever. And it's something that I don't think you quite come to terms with right there and then. You know, it takes a few days to sink in, but, you know, it's the ultimate, you know, it's the ultimate achievement in, in a professional golfer's life is winning a major championship. But at that moment in time, there's, there's no better feeling in the world, you know, to be able to do it again and put my name on that trophy uh, another time would you know, it would it would be very, very special. Like, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of good in, in Tiger. In, in not Tiger, in uh, 2K. But at the same time, like... Oh, I didn't mean to do this again. Limitless. The ability to break free. Like, there's a lot of good... To experience golf in ways you never thought to possible. Taking your game to levels once only... I have to close the app. There's a lot of good in, in 2K, don't get me wrong, but this is a, like, people still rave about this game that came out in 2015, and I, I think you could have just played it, and you could have had an instant two, three, four, five ideas you could have added to the game, 
And uh, I mean, I'm sure that EA is going to use this as their starting point, their baseline to create their game. Hopefully they do. EA Sports. And uh, hopefully they come out with a really good product because I know there's a lot of issues right now that people are still reeling about. Um, I've been very well known to uh, voice my issues, concerns. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what EA comes out with. If they come out with course creation, if they come out with uh, an arcade version or a sim version, and um, what kind of level, because they have an opportunity here, I think, to uh, really pull a lot of people from the 2K community into their game. Um, or um, hopefully, or maybe it comes out like NBA Live did and, and they don't steal anyone from the 2K community. So... Um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see, but it's something I wanted to cover. Let me know down in the thoughts of, um, I wanted to, I forgot how to get to it, but there's a driving range that you can go to and you can just hit a whole bunch of shots. Let's see if I can figure out a way to get back to it. Yes, it was through the prologue. Play shot lessons. Learn to aim, set up different. Let's try this one. Ah, uh, no. Skip, 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 skip. Let's go to classic. Oh, I don't want three click. So these are the different modes. They had a fun, simple stick swing mechanic, advanced stick swing, which means you moved it left and right. So I guess 2K probably took their three click. I don't wonder how similar it is to it. Let's try the, let's try the, try it now. Let's try the, uh, the three click. Oh no, it's completely different. This is like a kick meter. Oh, here's it. Yeah, this is the driving range I was talking about. Oh wow, this was super easy. Yeah, this is, this was super easy. This is, I, I kind of like the 2K three click better. I think it's a little bit more difficult. Interesting. The driving range is definitely lacking in this. Like definitely could be better. Yeah, I mean this this would be too easy. But I mean if you wanted that arcade version, I mean this is this would be um I mean some people would, I mean this is fun. This is all some people need. Just have a little fun with the game. Let's uh try the arcade mode. Let's see what let's just start and back. Can I pull it? Oh, there we go. It just gives you lessons. All right, I got you. Just the one where you... I don't remember if you could spin the ball while the ball is in the air in this one. Let's see if we can... Uh... Oh, yeah. We're spinning the ball in the air. I forgot about this. Let's see how much spin we can put on it. Spin, 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 spin. Shoo. See how much spin we can put on a nine iron. But I mean, it gives people those options. If they want an arcade version, if they want a... Uh... Oh, that was a nine iron. Adds power, adds spin. Yeah, I gotcha. Let's go to the next lesson. Next lesson. I kind of like the. Uh... Why is it not letting me do anything? It's not letting me do anything. Oh, there it goes. Like that swing looks good. It looks real. I wanted to, I can't change it. 
Uh, this, this is just the driving range though, but I just wanted to cover that. Play the game a little bit. Let you guys have a little feel for it. Let me know down your thoughts of what you guys thought of this game. If it's uh, memories seven years ago, uh, what you guys expect of EA coming up, and if it's something that you guys are going to consider. Um, or if you guys are loyal to the 2K game and hopefully they make improvements. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.